Coming up on City View, South by Southwest is in town, so don't be surprised if you turn the corner and it's Charlize Theron or Jordan Peele. A local challenge for entrepreneurs proves the old axiom, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And if you want to express your artistic self, get out your paints, an opportunity is at hand. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Elizabeth Kasprowitz. It's that time of year again. South by Southwest 2019 kicked off all across downtown and will run until March 17th. For those who are new to the city, South by Southwest is a conference and festival to celebrate the convergence of the interactive film and music industries. It literally takes over parts of downtown. Austin will see an influx of some two to 400,000 visitors here to enjoy the annual event. City officials gathered to discuss the impact South by Southwest has on the city of Austin. There will be barricades around the event, but we will have a marked police car at every barricade with officers present. Uh, we're gonna ask people not to drop devices off right in front of the barricade. That too becomes a hazard as we start to think about moving people in and out of these areas. If you're going to come down and enjoy yourself, uh, have a buddy, have a way to get home. Uh, make sure you've thought about your trip to and from the festival so that you have a designated driver if necessary. Uh, but as equally important as you're walking on the streets, uh, if you've had too much to drink, you know, find a place uh, in a club or somewhere and sit down and wait until you're sober. This is really important. It's about personal responsibility and more importantly, it might just be about your life. The city recently hosted its fourth annual Reverse Pitch competition. Reverse Pitch is a social entrepreneur's hip challenge that asks local entrepreneurs and businesses to create new business ideas that use another business's waste product. This is polycarbonate material that can be repurposed for other things, uh, anything from park benches to... At the opening pitch, five local businesses presented the audience with the unique materials they have but no longer need. Everything from grape skins to napkins to office chairs. Over 180 people turned out to hear about these unusual byproducts. The audience will now use the next several weeks to create business ideas that turn trash into revenue for a new or expanded business. At the final pitch event in April, two ideas will each be awarded $10,000 to kickstart their new repurposing venture. To view the opening pitches, visit reversepitch.org. Austin Energy is a technical organization with more than its share of scientists, engineers, and technicians. Each February, the city-owned utility empowers the scientists of tomorrow by hosting the Austin Energy Regional Science Festival, attended by thousands of students from across the region. Founded in 1956, the Science Fest celebrated its 63rd anniversary this year. More than 2,600 students from 244 schools entered science projects in the fair. First through third place category winners advanced to the Texas Science and Engineering Fair in College Station in late March. Six Best of Fair projects will advance to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair to be held in mid-May in Phoenix, Arizona. I have been impressed uh, with what the children are doing and I have been impressed with what we are doing as an organization to put forth this event. Being customer driven and community focused is our brand promise and so this will help us continue to support. Science Fest is Austin Energy's largest sponsored annual community event helping to promote science, technology, engineering and math education. And now we leave you with a story about some spectacular temporary artwork created for the city's Tempo 2D mural program, an initiative of Austin, art, and public places. Our first highlighted Tempo art piece is called A Place to Call Home by artist Raki Jane Desai and is located at the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Take a look. <laughs> When I told them that your piece, your work is going to be at the airport, they're like, what? That, that can't happen. I'm Raki Jane Desai. My piece is called A Place to Call Home. 
and it was commissioned by the City of Austin Art and Public Places through the Tempo 2D program. The concept of this piece is to communicate vision of each person that wants identity and belonging in Austin. It's working with uh, different immigrants and refugee groups, have them communicate their place to call home. I asked neighborhoods of Austin to contribute their old bed sheets, their old fabrics and textiles. And I tore them up and took them over to the immigrant community and taught them how to do some of the Batik techniques. This was a little girl whose parents got separated and all she really wanted was to celebrate Christmas together. And I went to them because they're communities that don't necessarily have an avenue of expression. One of the great things about the U.S. is that we keep building upon our foundation. And I find that to be pretty fascinating. You know, as, as new immigrants and communities come in, we can't forget that we're an immigrant nation. Once again, first point call, 22 when you don't have to go into a gallery and see the art amongst its white walls, and it's right there with you and a part of your life, I think it makes a really great impact for many people. I don't think my children would be able to enjoy all of this art um, if public art didn't exist. To find out more about the Tempo 2D program, locations of murals, or apply to be a muralist yourself, visit austincreates.com. That's all for this week's City View. I've been your host, Elizabeth Kasprowitz. Our next episode premieres Monday, March 25th. Thanks for watching.